All right, guys, we are going to try to make this work. Um, Hey guys, what's up? My name is Amber Tantog. Today I'm going to be talking about something actually pretty personable, but it's also about the Air Force. And if you are new here, I make videos about the Air Force, um, fitness, and my personal lifestyle, and just my life in general. So I'm, I'm a vlogger, I don't know what I even call myself, but I've had this requested video like a bunch of times. I don't know why I put it off so long, but I think it's because it's so very personal to me that um, I wanted to take some time to actually just reflect and make sure I got all the details and all the facts before I made this video. Um, so this video is about um, having kids and you know going through basic training and just being in the military being a single parent or just being a parent in general and this is super important because you know a lot of people with kids want to join but they don't know what's best for them and they don't know you know the whole custody battle thing or just custody in general before we start don't forget to subscribe and comment down below what's your situation i can help you in some sort of form if possible i will try to if not i would highly suggest um, talking to your local recruiter because they have the most updated um, information as as well as looking up for yourself on um, Google, like make sure that they're coming from credible sources, um, mostly .gov, .mil, um, the actual Air Force website itself. Those are great resources for you guys to look up on. Keep that in mind, do your own research, and then also confirm with your recruiter. Don't forget to follow my Instagram uh, for more personal and like fun stuff. I, I do more things than the Air Force, honestly, so I, I don't want you guys to I don't want you guys to label me as like an Air Force person because I'm not. I just make out videos that are pertaining to the Air Force because it was super helpful for me. So like I said, I do get uh, DMs about, you know, custody and like being in the military and having a child. I'm a single mom. I got divorced when I was 22. I'm now 25 and I'm living in the dorms currently, but that will change uh, just because I am of age, um, I do have a son, I don't have custody, full custody of him, so um, I will be working on towards getting custody of him, and that that is just something that is, wasn't like, oh yeah, I'm giving up my custody to join the military, that was never my intentions, nor it was ever my intentions to give up my, give up custody to my son because I couldn't handle it or because X, Y, and Z, um, there was some miscommunication in the divorce decree and let's just put it at this um it wasn't right it wasn't right and um i 100 percent regret giving up 100 percent custody because you know i'm his mom so aside from that i'm going to go over some miscommunications about you know you have to give up um there's like this myth i guess not even a myth it's a lie it's not true you don't have to give up full custody for your child in order to um, join. So I'm gonna read off something from directly the airforce.com. You guys will you guys can check out the link down below so you guys can read it for yourself. It says, Can I give up custody of my dependents to enlist in the Air Force? The Air Force recognizes that some individuals for personal reasons have given up custody of a child or children. It is not the intent or desire of the Air Force to require any person to relinquish custody of his or her children to qualify to en for enlistment. Transferring custody of family members for the purpose of entering the Air Force is prohibited and rendering enlistment enlisted applications permanently disqualified. Um, single parents who parents applicants who at the time of initial processing for enlistment indicate that they have a child child or children of in the custody of other parents or adult will be advised to require to acknowledge by certification that their intent of the time of enlistment is not to enter in the air force with the express intentions to of regaining custody after enlistment these applicate applicants must ex execute an air education and training command form 1328 statement of understanding for a single mem member having dependents uh, in custody of another. Can I join in the Air Force if I have children? Provided that you are otherwise qualified, uh, you may enlist if you are married or and have legal physical custody up to two um, children who are under the age of 18 and incapable of self care. You'll need a waiver to enlist if you are married and have three ch children under the age of 18 who are incapable of self care. 
If you are a single parent, whether separated, divorced, or common law partner with legal or physical custody of up to three children under 18 who are incapable of self-care. So honestly, I don't really know exactly entirely what that means, but from what I'm gaining is, you know, if you have three children, um, you're gonna have to get a waiver. Uh, if you are a single parent, you're gonna have to get a waiver as well, basically. Um, you will need a family care plan, so basically in the event that you know you deploy or just because you're leaving for basic training and tech school, you're going to have a plan. You need to have a plan of what's going to happen with your kids and that's just a given. You know, if, if you have to go out on a date night, you need a plan to take care someone taking care of your children. Um, so that's kind of what it comes down to. You can enlist if you have children. Things kind of like... I've been getting a lot of questions are is how do I cope with being away from my son so I have not seen my son in over a year now it's been 13 months and um, I just have a very different situation with my ex-husband um, I don't want to go into the details because it's nobody's business to know what's going on with me and my ex-husband it's I won't I will say that it's not the most ideal situation for me um, it's not a ideal situation for anyone to be in the situation that I'm in I'm not gonna be a um, victim I'm not gonna play victim to this because you know my ex and I made a child together and that is my son that is his son um, I just personally wish it was handled and is handled a little bit better but right now it's not um, how I personally cope with it is keeping busy, you know, I am constantly doing things, I'm trying to better myself, I'm trying to use this time not being with my son to better myself, to better him, to better our future. Um, may that right now, I'm working on school, I'm going to school, I'm going to be going to school once I QC, which is like kind of like a um, know your job type of like test if that makes any sense um, I am currently getting my certified personal trainer certificate I'm gonna be working on my nutrition certificate I'm getting all these things done that I have the time for um, spending time with my friends that I just made up here I'm keeping busy I'm journaling I talk to people about like the shitty things that I'm going through you know my emotions like I'm a I'm a mom like I'm a mom who is away from their child has been away from their child for a year like I don't I try to play downplay this a lot when I speak to people about it but it hurts I'm not gonna lie it's gonna hurt guys like especially when you this if this is like your first time being away from your child it's gonna suck and I'm sorry to put it that way but it does and that's the reality um, you're going to have to find some different coping methods in order to get through basic successfully you have to have a reason into joining to the Air Force and I really hope you guys will fight for that and just be like you know I'm gonna fight for my child I'm gonna fight for his future her future our future kids are very resilient human beings and they're going to have to adjust like yourself. We all have to adjust to different life. You know, there's sacrifices that needs to be made. And sometimes it's joining the military and that's what I had to do for myself, for my son, for our future. And may it be that it sucks now. I always believe in grinding hard throughout your life and then, you know, the fruits will bear in the end. Uh, I don't know what your situation is, I don't know what's going on in your life and you know your emotions and all those things are valid and I don't want sh anyone to ever think that just because they're leaving and doing something great for their country, great for their family, for themselves, that they should be shamed for doing that. Like I don't, I don't know, there's a lot of judgmental people in this world but are they freaking paying your bills? Are they the ones that are up all night knowing the struggle of being a parent with your specific child of of a specific personality character and they don't know they don't know so i highly suggest writing down why you're going why you're joining and what the benefits are you know even put the cons down freaking do it 
it does suck, but I can tell you I'm a lot happier where I am in my life than I was five years ago. Um, I have found a lot about myself being in the military, going to be a part of the military, and then having to fight to stay in the military. I was medically disqualified. If you guys don't know, I was medically disqualified for hemorrhoids. I fought my way, I rebuttaled it. So I was actually going to get kicked out of the military five days prior to graduation of BMT. And I got it during BMT. I scored a 99.5 on my PT score. I had a great head on myself. I was so happy in BMT. I went to bed super like grateful and just all that stuff. But I still fought through it. And what helped me was my son. Knowing that that was some, being in the Air Force was something I needed to do. And not on top of that, as, as well as on top of that is God. God is the reason why I'm here in the military. I have a purpose to serve and I have a purpose to serve people. And that's another reason why I'm in. You have to have reasons for what you do in life. And you know, as a parent, you guys already know the sacrifices that you're making to you know, put the food on the table. Whether it be you're a stay-at-home mom, whether you're a working mom, it doesn't matter. You're sacrificing in some sort of way. Um, may that be your mental health. May that be your time spent with your children. Um, you know, life isn't just here and here. You know, it's never gonna be like that. And everything will have its time. Everything has its own time. And I could back this up with a bunch of scripture, but I'm not. Actually, you know what? Here's a scripture that always keeps me going. It's from Ecclesiastes. I don't know how to say it, but just read it. It's amazing. It keeps me knowing that there's different seasons in life and that things will be okay. And your children will be, like whoever you trust your children with, like they will be fine. If you want to, try to write to them in a journal. I keep a journal for my son so that he can see all the things that I've done for him and what I feel in that moment of, you know, when certain circumstances are happening. Um, I write them down and it's a letter to him for when he gets older, when he becomes more mature to understand the situations and why, you know, mommy was away for so many years or so many months. I want to be involved with my child's life. It's it sucks that I don't really have a choice, but I can't really. It really sucks that, you know, I don't have that power to even talk to my son every day. I don't get to talk to my son every day. I haven't even talked to him for over a month. Put that in perspective, your, your situation might be a lot better than mine is. And um, I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot. But, I, and there's this quote that's, that says, you may see me struggle, but I will never quit. And for me, I'm not gonna quit. I love my son, I love my life, and I love my God that I'm serving. And I have purpose in my life, and so do you. So I know this kinda kinda went into like a different direction, but I really hope this video kind of gives you more of a push, gives you more encouragement to enlist because enlisting was the best decision I've ever made in my life and I know like my life is not a hundred percent, I'm honestly very stressed out, <laughs> very stressed out um, and I think it goes with because I'm a lot older, I have more life experience, I'm expected to do a lot more and I'm expected to have, um, I'm just expected a lot more out of myself because I'm at that age, um, I have a son, I have a lot more life experience than younger airmen um, at 19. So yeah, I'm pretty stressed, but I always have to take myself back and be grateful, just kind of gather my thoughts. And what also helps me is having a great support system that is solid, that you can trust 100%. Um, that's gonna make the biggest difference. It you're going to very quickly learn that it takes a tribe to raise a child. It's not just you and your spouse or, you know, mom or whoever. It takes a lot of people to, ch to raise a child. I really hope this helps people with their journey, with joining in the military, because um, I make these videos because I, 
I like making YouTube videos. I don't know, it's a weird thing. I just like it. I just like helping people and I love it when people you know, DM me and they're like, thank you for making this video. It's super helpful. It makes my day because I know that I'm serving my purpose and also I'm not shedding bad light on something that was super beneficial for me. And you know, I will tell you this, everything has bads in things, bads and goods. Um, for me, personally, the Air Force has been probably 95% amazing. Uh, the 5%, I guess, my perspectively, um, was like kind of shitty, but like you get a lot more than you. <laughs> I just been through a lot to know that this is a really good life for me, um, even though I'm in the dorms. I don't care. Like, things could be a lot worse. I could be jobless. There's, I don't even want to say it because, like, that's just comparing and that's rude. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely reach out if you guys are going through the same struggles. Um, if you need any, like, encouragement, any more information, I will leave the links down below that I kind of read off to you guys. It's not a lot. Um, but, I needed to make this video for you guys because it's super important. Um, I don't want to leave you guys in the dust before leaving for basic or enlisting because this is super important. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye now.